Use this one trick to get the finest inner corner liner. Hi everyone, it's Smita. Welcome back. No matter what eye shape you have, today I'm going to show you some simple tricks to ace the finest inner corner liner. And it looks so flattering, so I can't wait to show you how it's done. So without further delay, let's begin. As you can see, I have a very rounded inner corner. It's not sharp to begin with. And I also have peach fuzz in the inner corner, which interferes with the liner. So what I like to do first is clear that hair. And for that, I'm going to be using the corner dual blade trimmer. It's a pretty simple tool. It only has one on and off button and there's two blades to it. The longer one is the one that I use for my facial hair or for my brows. And the shorter one is the one that I use for my inner corner or hard to reach areas. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to very gently pull my skin, not too much, very lightly. And then I'm going to shave the hair in the inner corner using the smaller blade. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to start with the makeup starting with my brows i'm going to be using the house labs edge precision brow pencil in the shade brown black as always i'm just going to be filling in the sparse areas starting with the top portion of my brows using very fine hair like strokes i have very thick brow hair so filling in too much might make it look overwhelming Next, using a concealer, I'm going to clean up underneath the brows. I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. That'll help to even out everything from the lid up to the brows. And the brush that I'm using is a flat concealer brush. This is from Doe Color. It's very easy to carve with this or do very fine strokes. So if you don't have a flat concealer brush, I would highly recommend getting one. I'm lightly setting it with the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder to prevent the concealer from creasing. And now we are ready for the liner. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do with gel eyeliner. This is from Inglot, but you can use any gel eyeliner that you prefer. My favorite drugstore gel eyeliner is Maybelline. Make sure your gel eyeliner is not dry, otherwise it's very difficult to draw fine strokes. If it is dry, like it dries for everybody, all you have to do is use a couple drops of Inglot Duraline and mix it up to revive it and it'll look like brand new. And if you want information on any of the products that I'm using in today's tutorial, you can click on the view products link within this video and it'll take you to all the products. And the brush that I'm using is a fine liner brush. This is from Colourpop and they're completely sold out. But I'm going to link some of my favorites, so do check that out as well. Just like you use any stamp, you dip it in the ink and you stamp it. Just like that, I'm going to dip this brush in the Inglot gel liner and I'm going to stamp it in my lash line. So we are getting done with the lash line first all the way from the outer to the inner corner. I'm just going to keep stamping it at my lash line using my lash line as a guide and that should result in something like this. You don't have to pull a stroke or draw a liner. All you have to do is stamp and you can see how beautiful that looks. And for the outer wing, I'm going to stamp once extending my lower lash line and then join it to my upper lash line and fill in the gaps. That'll leave you with a fine winged eyeliner. And now for the inner corner, you first have to detect the center point of your inner corner. And for me, it's right there. I'm going to stamp the brush there one time and join it to the upper and lower lash line. Again, dipping the brush in the gel eyeliner and I'm going to simply stamp it right in the center of my inner corner. And you can see how beautiful that line is. It's so fine. You don't have to pull a liner. You don't have to worry about shaky hands. All you have to do is stamp it. It's that easy. And now all I'm going to do is connect it to my upper and lower lash line. Just connecting it to the upper lash line in itself looks stunning. You don't have to do the lower lash line, but I want to give you both options. So I'm going to be connecting it to the lower lash line as well. 
you can see how fine the lines are just because of that one brush you don't have to draw anything you don't have to worry again about any shaky hands or you know just not getting the strokes right all you have to do is stamp with that fine flat brush using the makeup forever aqua roses pencil in black i'm going to line my waterline how you want to finish this is completely up to you you can also use this with eyeshadows Time to finish up, so I'm going to curl my lashes. This is the Sally Hansen Curler. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara. I like this mascara when I want my natural lashes to just look more enhanced. This mascara doesn't clump your lashes. It looks very natural, but at the same time gives you a lot of volume and length. And here's the finished look. You can see how fine that liner is with that one trick of using that flat brush. It works like magic every single time. Even if you have shaky hands, you cannot go wrong with this. Let's now finish up the rest of the face. For blush, I'm going to be using Terra by Benefit Cosmetics. I love the shade and I like to apply it higher up on my cheekbones. That way it gives that lifted effect. For lipstick, this lipstick went viral on TikTok. I've never tried it. It's the first time. It's the Vinyl Ink Longwear Liquid Lip Color from Maybelline. And this is in the shade Vidi. It's a super stay lipstick, so it is budge resistant. So I want to see how long it'll last. But I absolutely love this color. I think it just enhances your natural lip color. And I like nude lipsticks, personally. So this is absolutely stunning. And here is the finished look. How fantastic was that and how easy was that? Let me know in comments if you'd like to try this look. And if you do, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. And if you want information on any of the products that I used, you'll find it in the view products link within this video in the left bottom corner. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Hi everyone, with your help I was able to get to the quarterfinals of Fab Over 40 and I'm so grateful that many of you decided to vote for me every single day and now we are in for the semi-finals so I need your votes again and I've included that link in the description box. I love you guys so much, thank you for everything and I'll see you soon.